All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with some news about uh, boxing champion Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. So Serrano was scheduled to fight for Combate Americas in her homeland of Puerto Rico on December, or excuse me, January 25th. But it looks like that is off. She texted out a day or so ago uh, on her Twitter the fight game isn't a very good one at times. My MMA fight for Combate Americas has been canceled. I spent a ton of hours training for it. I'm honestly tired of all the crap. I think it's time to move on to the next chapter of my life. And then she tagged Lou DiBella and was that Puerto Rico Boxia, the Puerto Rican Boxing Association or whatever. Uh, so her t fight with Combate Americas, which... I don't think anybody ever knew who her opponent was supposed to be, is officially off. So, you know, I haven't covered, really, Combate Americas in a long time. The only event I've watched of theirs in the last several months was the uh, Tito versus Alberto card, and I only watched that for the title fight, the uh, ladies' title fight, and I regret having paid for that. It's getting really, really hard to support this organization in Anyway, uh, the few times they've been somewhere that where they were forced to disclose the fighter pay, the fighter pay is a joke. They um, they never update their website or their social media with an updated fight card until the day of the event, which is in 2019 is just inexcusable. And all this time, you have the CEO, uh, what's his name, Campbell McLaren, just constantly acting like a clown and an outright a-hole on social media all the time and meanwhile all he ever wants to talk about is oh our ratings are phenomenal our ratings are phenomenal our ratings are phenomenal well so what no one can know no one knows who's actually fighting on your cards because you don't update the website you don't update your social media so why should i want free why should anybody watch it then you went from DAZN, which while being a pay option is at least available to everyone. Now you're on Axis, which is available to like DirecTV and maybe one or two other cable providers in the US, and that's it. So how's anyone supposed to care about watching you if no one can? Because you're on an obscure channel that's only carried by a few providers. In English, anyway. Don't really care about how many people are viewing you in Latin America because I don't speak Spanish, so... Anyway, this sucks for Amanda Serrano. You know, she was complaining about being, you know, basically dicked over and given the, the runaround in boxing. That's debatable itself. However, uh, Kabate America is not being able to find a replacement opponent with like 20-some days. That's over two weeks. We've seen promoters uh, find replacement fights in less time than that before. So this is pretty inexcusable that you're going to uh, Puerto Rico and she was on your poster, on your graphic, for being, you know, basically the star of this Puerto Rico card. You're still holding a card, it sounds like. I haven't seen any cancellations for it. But now you don't have the fighter on it that was basically going to get people to come and watch it. So, I don't know what to say about that. It's uh, pretty shitty from Combate Americas. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Likes are always appreciated. And what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time.